And let's turn now to Michael Wong to talk more about what a potential deal between Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade would mean for the rest of the online brokerage industry. He's an equity analyst over at Morningstar. Welcome, Michael. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. What do you make of this potential deal, um, and, and does it make sense to you? Yeah, of all the potential mergers with the uh, publicly traded online brokerages, uh, this was probably the least likely. Uh, the market was betting likely that E-Trade would merge with the TD Ameritrade or E-Trade would merge with uh, Charles Schwab. And I think that the uh, nearly 70% pop in TD Ameritrade um, and the drop in E-Trade um, are about proof uh, that this was unexpected. Yeah, that, that E-Trade was down sharply today. You might have thought it would go up in sympathy, but it had already gone higher anticipating maybe a deal something like this. So does this take E-Trade out of the story, or do you think there are other mergers coming? Um, I think that uh, E-Trade is still in play. Um, besides just the regular industry consolidation of them you know, merging with, let's say, a Schwab or a Meritrade, um, we think that they could potentially merge with a, a regional bank or even a wealth management firm. So there's still plenty of players out there that would find a lot of value in E-Trade's retail trader base and their employee stock plan business. Mike Santoli in our report outlined if indeed this deal did happen, some of the positives for the two companies involved. But are there negatives if indeed this deal does happen? Um, there could be a little bit of a, a culture clash. Um, TD Ameritrade has been well known for a very large uh, kind of open architecture platform, uh, whereas Charles Schwab has had like a uh, a more vertically integrated platform where they have more of their own products on there. And you know, definitely a big hurdle for this merger potentially is uh, Toronto Dominion's ownership stake in uh, TD Ameritrade and Charles Schwab having to potentially untangle that relationship between Toronto Dominion and TD Ameritrade. If this, if this deal happens, they end up, as we mentioned, with $5 trillion. That surpasses Fidelity with the amount. They've got about $2.6 trillion. Does Fidelity need to step up now or anybody else of the giants in this industry? Yes, so Fidelity can definitely be a player that can uh, char challenge this Charles Schwab TD Ameritrade merger. Um, that said, I think that there are many other players that may be considered a little bit less traditional, uh, like Bank of America and Merrill Lynch with its Merrill Edge platform, uh, JP Morgan with its UInvest platform, or even Robinhood. Um, so there's still many players out there that can uh, go head to head with a uh, potentially combined Charles Schwab TD Ameritrade. Um, just very quickly, do you see any regulatory hurdles at all? Definitely, you could see some uh, anti-competition uh, hurdles coming up. They are some of the most well-known online brokerages. They do have a really good hold on the uh, uh, investment advisor space um, for RIAs. Mm -hmm. um, so there's definitely going to be some industry concentration that I think regulators will be looking at. Michael Wong with Morningstar. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it.